Welcome back to That Adventure Couple. In our last episode, we explored the beautiful Buddhist temples throughout Chiang Rai. There is so much more to see here, so in today's episode, we'll take you beyond the temples. Our first stop is one of my favorite places that we visited in Northern Thailand, the Phu Chi Pha Viewpoint. Watching the sunrise from the top of this mountain should be on everyone's Thailand bucket list. The way the fog rolls through all of the valleys is truly a sight to behold. The parking lot is fairly close to the viewpoint, so the hike is less than 2 kilometers, but bring a flashlight because it is pretty dark before sunrise. At this viewpoint, we were able to take one of my absolute favorite pictures from Thailand, standing on the side of the cliff and enjoying the view. If you go to the Lookout Point National Park, you get to add one more country to your list of visits because the viewpoint, the tip of it, is actually in Laos. Most people come to Shanghai for the temples, but while you're here, you don't want to miss the sunrise from Puchi Fa. From the viewpoint, if you follow the Laotian border south, you'll find the Fusang National Park. All of the national parks in Thailand are absolutely beautiful, so since we were about an hour and a half east of Shanghai, we decided this would be a good spot to take a stroll and have some breakfast. On the outskirts of Shanghai City, there is an absolutely massive park known as Singa Park. We visited in the evening and just drove around to enjoy the pretty views, but there's enough to do here that you can spend an entire day enjoying the beautiful weather. It's a really big park. We've been driving through it. If you see anything that you want to take pictures of, then you just have to pull the car over to the side of the road and get out and take pictures. So we stopped at this giant rabbit. There are tons of biking trails here, a farm, a small zoo, and you can even go ziplining over the tea plantations. Located in the middle of the town is the Golden Shanghai Clock Tower. Every night at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 9 o'clock, they do a five minute show with lights and music. It's fun to see if you happen to be in the area, but we don't recommend going out of your way to make it. The next stop on our list is the Coon Corn Waterfall. Of all the waterfalls we've seen, this one's pretty tall, about 70 meters. From the parking lot to the waterfall is 1.4 kilometers. The trail can be a little bit slick, but overall we found it pretty easy to traverse. The Coon Corn Waterfall is about 40 minutes west of Shanghai. It's a great thing to do in addition to visiting the Doi In Si Temple. Waterfall has a little bit of spray to it. I didn't even go in it and I'm like literally slipping. There is a decent sized pool at the bottom of the waterfall, but we don't recommend swimming in it as the waterfall is really powerful. This is definitely a hidden gem. When we visited, we were the only people there. If you're planning to see the Coon Corn Waterfall, we also recommend planning a visit to one of the many coffee plantations. Since we were already a little ways outside of town, we decided to go a little bit further and head to a coffee plantation. We chose to go to the Ma Family Coffee Plantation. There's a few different ones in this area. This one was the easiest one to find and so we got some coffee, a little bit of breakfast, and a snack to go. Last but not least, we have the Lalita Cafe. The cafe is located near Wat Hue Plakeng, which is one of my favorite temples in Chiang Rai. The Lalita Cafe is an absolute dream and an Instagram hotspot. Entrance to the cafe is 60 baht, which is about $1.25. 
but you can exchange your entrance ticket for food and drinks inside. As a plant lover, I was so impressed with this cafe. It was so beautiful to just walk around and take in the scenery. All of the water elements were done perfectly. Although everyone comes for the beautiful ambiance, the food and drink was pretty good as well. We've had a fantastic time visiting Shanghai. There are so many beautiful and amazing things to do here. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on our next adventure.